Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today, this morning, today, I need your help with something. I, uh, I, I stumbled across a channel on YouTube that needs a little bit of love, okay? This is 87.7 Raccoon Radio. I was looking one night for stuff that interests me, just kind of the same way you found my channel, right? And I love pirate radio, anything to do with micro broadcasting, that kind of stuff. You know, I've certainly made some videos on it over the years. Well, I stumbled across 87.7 Raccoon Radio. A young man named Hunter runs this channel, and uh, and he's into all things radio. And that that phrase that hit me so hard, and I, I looked at these videos of him, you know, building his little radio station and talking about radios in general. And I thought, man, I'm looking through the through the mirror at a younger version of myself. And so what I want to do with your help, I have reached out to Hunter's mother, and she's given me an address that we can do this with. But I want to see if people out there that support this channel will support Raccoon Radio's channel. And so what I want to do is I want to get him some stuff and send it to him so he can really explore the radio hobby. I'm going to do my part, and that includes I'm going to send him out this nice Radio Shack scanner that I've had inside my house. I did a video on that. You can watch this. The Radio Shack Realistic 200 channel scanner. So I'm going to get him started with that so he can listen to like fire and local police and all that good stuff there. As long as his area of the country still supports analog anyway. And I'm also going to send him this. This 40 channel AM CB radio from Radio Shack. This is the TRC413. Nice little Radio Shack set up there with of course a mic. And I've got a power supply. I just don't know where it is. But also, I'm going to be sending him a, a set of these Retrivus or Retrivus. Um, I did a review on these a while back. These are two two watt, I think, GMRS radios. So he's going to have a set of those to play with. So he's going to have some stuff. And what I'm asking from you guys, help support his channel, help support the the hobby, because that's what we're doing, right? We're paying it forward to the next generation of radio enthusiasts. So if you got some old coax laying around, if you got an old radio laying around, maybe somebody wants to send him a shortwave or a base antenna or a mobile antenna that he can turn into a base antenna, I think that the family would really help it. So what I'm going to do is, again, I've talked with his mother, Melissa. By the way, thanks for thanks for being understanding about all this crazy idea. But uh, she's gonna she gave me the, her address to ship this stuff to in Arkansas. And so if you want to help out, and I just send me a private message. Go ahead, and it's far point dot farm dot survival at gmail.com and you go ahead and shoot me a message I'd be happy to uh, give you the address there I was gonna just post it in the in the link you know like in the description below but I thought that was maybe not a good idea even though it's not a personal home address or anything like that I just felt that was a little bit weird but look I, I don't really ask for much do I I don't, I don't know that I've, I've certainly thanked a lot of people I've certainly helped a lot of people out over the years this is a way of paying it forward this is this is this is the future. This is what we're going to be in 10 years. This this guy is going to be maybe getting his general ham license. This guy is going to be maybe thinking about going into a career related radio. And that's that's awesome, right? So do me a favor. Help out Farpoint Farms by helping out 87.7 Raccoon Radio. Let's see if we can get this kid a pile of radio stuff so that he is busy from now until, you know, the time he's my age with all the cool stuff. That's it for today, guys. Thank you.